We started our Peruvian journey heading south from Lima. We boarded our Peru hop bus that took us to Hacienda San Jose, where we got to tour the secret slave tunnel before finally making our way to the coastal town of Paracas. The next day started with a meal at Hotel Residencial Los Frias, and after a good breakfast and coffee, we headed out on a tour we'd prearranged with Pruhop, a visit to Islas Ballestas. Be safe for today. Live for another day. We good to go. Smell of gasoline. <laughs> that is a little bit of gas smell, but <laughs> we'll survive when we get out into the wind a bit. And away we go. See, I thought that the candelabra was done by locals kind of as a joke, but apparently they believe it's like 300 years before Christ, a lot older than we thought. <laughs> exciting there's a lot of seals no sea lions sea lions I have to really yeah. um, brush up my skills of sea lions and <laughs> seals but there's a lot of sea lions a lot of birds they're just like flocks of them all in the straight line yeah you just see like streams of birds coming into the land it's just so exciting and just everything behind us all these hills that I'm pointing to that's all bird and a lot of you know bird crap <laughs> yeah there's actually industry on the uh, guano and they, they build all these ports and a uh, platform that kind of collects all the bird food. So, yes, yes. Gracias. Back on land. Now we have to get to the hotel as quickly as possible and get ready for a tour of the National Reserve. So I think we have about 20 minutes. That was a lot of fun. It's going to be nicer at the reserve because this morning is quite cloudy, but it looks like it's about to clear up pretty nice. It's going to be much warmer. I want some. Perfect. Buenos días con todos. Aquí hablándoles a ustedes. Aquí se encuentra Fernando, ser humano. Mucho gusto. Sediments. All this soil is special. There's a lot of organic compost. That's because he's sand. 
We are currently in the Paracas National Reserve and it is basically a huge area of desert and this is all colorful desert and used to be underwater like 300 million years ago and then it dried out and then as a result in the current days there are a lot of fossils. Our first stop right here is the cathedral. That is the cathedral right there. It used to look like this, but then it was destroyed in 2007 and it turned just like that. Huh, that's crazy. And this is still part of the cathedral stop, but look at that. That's amazing. I would just love to fly the drone here, but it is way too windy to do that. And even if I did, I doubt they'd let me because it's a national park. But it is so beautiful here and I'd love to have something just going across the plains. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And it was free with Peru Hop. We found out from our tour guide that Paracas means sand of wind or wind of sand. It's rain of sand. Rain of sand. So now it's getting about midday. The sand is heating up. And because the sand is heating up, the air is rising. The temperature of the water is cooler. So it comes in and fills up the space. So as the sand heats up, the air rises, the wind comes in, and we can get winds up to 50 kilometers an hour, which is about 35 miles an hour. And it's not bad now, it's really cool, and obviously start warming up. There's Baraka coming. Well, they close all the markets, the National Reserve. Is that allowed to go in here? You cannot even walk here. Nobody's not going to blow off, is it? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it, but just be uh, cautious. There's some salt right here. Red Beach, <laughs> Roja something, Roja, Roja Playa. Our third and final stop for today is the Red Beach. As you can imagine, the name comes from the red sand that is part of this beach. But one thing we have to be aware of, like right behind Michael, right there, camera, they just flocks of people start coming in. So we're sort of lucky that we actually caught this beach, sort of like kind of uh, ourselves, but it's not gonna be long. <laughs> Almost get wet. We just got back from doing our two main things here, the Islas Ballestas and then the Paracas National Reserve. And it was a lot of fun too. The great part about this for me with Peru Hop is that you can do whatever you want. You can do some of the stuff that they have planned for you or you can buy a tour. These were both recommended by them and the Isla Ballestas was 50 soles per person, which is- 15 US dollars. Yeah. When you hop on the bus, you could directly order it from them yeah. or you could go to the website prior to your visit and then you can do it by car. The National Reserve was a ton of fun too. That was really cool. It's really beautiful. It's like a lot of different sand colors and then this contrast with the uh, ocean. Just like a desert. It's not like super hot. You think of desert just like hot and this is not. So we are here in the main strip of Paracas and this is basically a row of restaurants and shop on the left side and then on the right side there's an ocean view. Every time you pass a restaurant that people always try to sell you stuff in including to invite you to the restaurant and then we're just gonna film it right now so our next thing is to no gracias no gracias but you know this like this road's restaurant they everybody just have a menu that people kind of try to sell you stuff Combo, huh? 
comes with pisco sour. So it's gonna be our first pisco sour in Peru. Cheers to you. <laughs> sort of tastes like a margarita. Tastes like margarita, yeah. We were walking along the strip here in Paracas looking for a place that had some vegetarian food. We couldn't find any, but we found this friendly guy named Luis and he told us that they make most of their dishes uh, that are fish-based, they can make them into vegetarian dishes. So we ordered a pesto spaghetti and a mushroom ceviche, which was really, really good. Uh, one thing that we also found to our surprise was they have a bunch of craft beer, a golden ale and a couple of IPAs. Even though I'm an IPA lover, the golden ale is the one I'd recommend. But I highly recommend coming here because the guys are friendly, the food is really good, and for lunch for two of us, and admittedly we split a lunch, was uh, 25 soles, which is about $6. The place is called Caramba. It's right on the beach. You have a great view here, and I highly recommend it. We're leaving our hotel now, and this is how far we are from the beach. Testing one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Testing 103. 103. One, two, three. Just did the two uh, big things in Paracas, which is the Isla Baye, Baye Nas. Oh, sh Sorry, 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 sorry. Now he has to look it up. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsor. <laughs> We're gonna go with the ceviche, mushroom ceviche, and I'm not sure where it is. Where is it down here? Oh, it's on this side. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for the most specific case on this side. <laughs> <laughs> 